Hey guys, this is Prasan from Tech Answered and let's get started. Hey guys, this tutorial will cover the theoretical as well as practical demonstration of for loop. We will also cover the theoretical description of while and until loop but the practical demonstration of while and until loop will be explained in the next video. In this tutorial, we are going to learn loops in Linux cell, for loop, while loop, until loop. Before we move on to loops, let us consider some of the statements which alter the flow of loops. First is break. Break is used to come out of the loop. So right now if I'm running a cell script and suddenly I want to come out of the loop because I do not want to execute further, so I will use a break statement. Next is continue. If I'm running a cell script and I want certain condition not to run but other conditions, remaining conditions to run, so in that case I will use continue statement. So we will see the uses of break and continue in our cell script. Next is for loop. So here we present you the syntax of for loop. So the use, uses of for loop is very simple. All we have to do is we have to do a syntax like this. Here we have to give for variable in value 1, 2, 3 and n. We have to do list of commands and then done. Here value 1, value 2 can be anything. For example, for i in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 do equal dollar i. So it will display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so the syntax of for loop is so simple. While loop. Here command will be evaluated first in order to execute the conditions inside while loop. Let us see the syntax. While command do list of commands done. Okay, so in this case we have to first this command condition will verify. If this condition verifies then only allow while loop will allow to go inside and run certain list of commands which are presented inside do and done block. Okay, we can also use semicolon in place of this condition but in that case while loop will always become true and we have to use the break and continue statements to break the loop. Next is until loop. Until block will only execute if the command is false. If the current command is true then until loop will not execute. So here in this case until command Okay, if this command or this condition is false, then only all the other statements will work. The only difference between while and until loop is that in case of while statement, if this command turns out to be true, then only while loop will work. Whereas in case of until statement, if this command, if it is false, then only until statement will continue. I have created three cell scripts, s1.sh, s2.sh and s3.sh. This cell scripts will demonstrate the uses of for loop, while loop and until loop. So let us see first program which is for for loop. Here as you can see I have written different conditions for for loop. So this is the basic condition first equal will happen where it will write e executing first part. For i in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will go inside i. So i will become our variable in this case. Next is do and we know in Linux cell all the loops will run inside do and done. So once the condition is verified echo dollar i. So what will happen is that first i will take the value 1. So echo will print dollar i means it will print 1. Then next case 2 will get inside i. Okay so echo dollar i will print the value 2. Third i will take the value 3 and it will print 3. Next, it will print 4 and 5, so on. So, this is for part 1. Okay. For next part, I have given echo as a blank statement because it will create one extra space in the next part execution. So, in second part, I am again ex writing executing second part to be more clear with our program. Then, I am giving enter the name. The name which is entered will be stored in this variable, and you can consider this variable. Uh, here what we will do is that for i in dollar name so whatever value we enter in name will go inside i okay next is echo name is dollar i okay so this with this we can uh, consider it as an array also we can put four to five names together and the for loop will display all the name using dollar i again equal statement just to give one extra space 
and for part 3 we are writing present working directory is pwd so guys i have already explained in case of linux shell script if you want to execute certain inbuilt command you have to use backtick so as you can see this is the backtick used here so pwd is already a known command in linux shell which is for present working directory so in order to execute pwd i am using backtick along with pwd so for i in pwd equal dollar i so whatever our present working directory is will be visible in this line okay next is fourth part so here what i have done is that i have already prepared a file called as file1.txt and i want to open that file and read that file so i am using cat file1.txt and since this became a command so in order to uh, display a command i am again using a backtick here as you can see for i in this eco dollar i so whatever it will read using cat command inside file1.txt it will print on the terminal again do done is then next is eco so it will again generate one extra space last part is executing fifth part so what i have done is that i have passed a value to a variable so the variable name is var and the value passed is home dm admin desktop okay now echo objects available at this location dollar var is for i in dollar var slash star so what i am doing here is that i am trying to list all the things which are present inside this so i am giving this path slash star so if you see dollar var slash star it means slash home dm admin desktop slash star so for i i will take this one this i will take all the values present and it will display eco dollar i so let us run this program and see what is the output of our program in order to execute a cell script again we have to use sh command sh space name of cell script so here executing first part and i as i told it is i is taking one two three four five one by one it will print all the value for the second part it is asking me the name so i'll give my name prasant then i will give rahul name then i will give aman name okay and i can give as many names as i want okay so all these names what i enter will go in a variable and the name of variable is name okay so as you can see here this program executed name is prasant name is rahul name is aman name is akash now third part is getting executed so it will display present working directory is home dm admin desktop loops and it is eco dollar i will give you the value of i which is nothing but this one okay for the fourth part i have already prepared a file so i will also show you the content of file the content of file is this one only this is a sample file to demonstrate for loop so i got i picked the values one by one from this file and it displayed here for fifth part objects available at location home dm admin desktop is this one so you can list all the objects present at that location let me open the program one more time for you so that it makes more sense to you so instead of using vi let me use cat so that you can see the program at this location itself so as you can see here uh, so for third uh, for fourth one okay we are using cat file1.txt and for fifth one we are using home dm admin desktop as variable and that is used in before slash so all the values inside this location will be displayed by eco dollar i now let me show you the, the entries inside file1.txt so this is a sample file to demonstrate for loop now let us see if our output was correct or not so here we go this is executing fourth part this is a sample file to demonstrate our loop so guys these are some of the practical examples of for loop which i showed to you but i will make more programs for this so that it becomes more and more clear for you i uh, just want you to see these programs and understand how we can make use of for loop in linux cell scripting okay so guys this is the program you can take reference of it you can learn from it